if you're wondering what is the difference between RAM and VRAM, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. RAM, random access memory, and VRAM, video random access memory, are both types of computer memory, but they serve different purposes and are utilized in different parts of a computer system, especially when it comes to graphics processing. Here's the difference between RAM and VRAM. Function. RAM. RAM is the primary system memory of a computer and is used to temporarily store data that the CPU, central processing unit, and software applications need to access quickly. It stores data and instructions that the CPU is actively using or is about to use. VRAM. VRAM is a specialized type of memory used specifically for storing graphical data, such as textures, frame buffers, and other visual elements required for rendering images on a computer screen. It is dedicated video memory used by the GPU, graphics processing unit, to handle graphics-related tasks efficiently. Location. RAM. RAM is located on the computer's motherboard and is accessible by both the CPU and the GPU. It serves as a general-purpose memory that stores data for various tasks, including operating system operations and running applications. VRAM. VRAM is located on the graphics card or GPU itself. It is physically closer to the GPU, allowing for faster access to graphical data when rendering images on the screen. Usage. RAM. RAM is used for general computing tasks, including running the operating system, launching applications, and temporarily storing data and files that are currently being worked on. VRAM. VRAM is specifically used for graphics-intensive tasks, such as rendering images, videos, and games. It stores textures, frame buffers, and other graphical data required for smooth and efficient rendering. Speed. RAM. RAM is generally faster than VRAM in terms of raw data access speed. It has higher bandwidth and lower latency, which is crucial for quick access to frequently used data by the CPU. VRAM. VRAM is optimized for graphics-related tasks and has higher bandwidth for efficiently handling large amounts of graphical data. While it may not be as fast as system RAM for general computing, it is optimized for graphics processing tasks. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let us know if we missed anything in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future.